why do Lyme disease patients relapse sometimes? And this is a good, good question. First, patients don't have all their infections treated, and sometimes it's hard to diagnose those because the technology for laboratory testing and diagnosis is getting better, but we may not have all the infections. So they may have Lyme disease, which is Borrelia, they may have Babesia, Ehrlichia, Bartonella, they may have all these tick-borne illnesses, they may have viruses, funguses, parasites, mycotoxins, and they may have those infections that are in the blood or in sinus cavity areas, and then they may have infections in the microbiota the, of the bowel, the bacteria in the bowel. So really, number one is treating all the infection. Number two, these infections release neurotoxins. And if your body isn't able to eliminate neurotoxicity, you're gonna get oxidative stress, lots of inflammation, and cause neuropathies and a lot of neurological symptoms. So the process of flushing neurotoxins is very much feels like relapse, and it, and, it, and it can be, because patients have inborn errors of metabolism. Then when you add that the fact that they have that infection behind them and neurotoxin, it really stresses out their ability to eliminate. They have genetic snippets sometimes that are, that are different, and their ability to metabolize. They may have, uh, as many of you have already looked into, methylation, but it's more complicated than that. Uh, it can be a combination of different pathways in their body that are not that are already genetically under stress. They may have the genes that are under stress. We look at those genetic snippets, they impact the brain, mood, the psychological behavior, the inflammation, uh, the way we respond to cancer, the way we respond to uh, uh, immunity, the way we respond to inflammation, et cetera. So it's very complex, but these are some of the reasons people relapse. One of the other biggest relapse problems is pain medication. History of using pain drugs and pain medications already causes extra stress as well to the uh, nerves, and then it makes it even harder to clear neurotoxin. So I hope that helps you answer a little bit that, that question. It's not so much relapse. It's not like uh, in a cancer patient where we see the cancer coming back. It may be more that they're having flare-up of symptoms because their body's having a hard time eliminating. So they may have killed out some infection, but they also may have a whole lot of problems eliminating. And that is a process. And they may have not treated all the infections and their immune system is not reestablished yet. So that's a short answer to a really complex question to relapsing. Take care and God bless you.